Over the last five weeks, we told the story of the Old Testament. We began with God creating the world and man sinning against God. We read about how God purged the earth with a flood and chose one family to become his people, Israel. We read about the failure of the kings to be the hero those people needed, and we read about the prophets who predicted a real hero would come. We're going to talk about that hero today, but first, I want to talk about Yoda. Is there anyone here who doesn't know who Yoda is? All of you who watch Star Wars probably grew up on Yoda. You know that Yoda is 900 years old. You know that Yoda is a great teacher. You know that he is a powerful Jedi and one deadly warrior with a lightsaber. But back in 1980, when Yoda first appeared in the movie The Empire Strikes Back, Yoda was not what people expected. Early in the movie, Obi-Wan Kenobi tells Luke to find a Jedi master named Yoda to teach him the ways of the Force. Luke goes to Dagobah, Yoda's homeworld, looking for a mighty warrior. But instead, he finds a little green puppet with the same voice as Grover from Sesame Street. Yes, it was the same guy. Yoda was not what Luke or anyone expected. He was small, but he was powerful. He wasn't what Luke expected, but he was exactly what Luke needed. That's exactly what the world got when God finally sent our Savior. Please pause the video now to read Luke 2, 1 through 20. Israel had searched a long time for a hero. Men like Samson, Gideon, and David had saved Israel for a time, but they were only human. They could defend Israel from her earthly enemies, but the real enemy, sin, was untouchable. Only someone without sin could defeat it. Jesus was human, but he was also God. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born like an ordinary baby. His earthly parents were poor, and on the night he was born, his only bed was a manger, an animal feeding trough. The long-awaited Messiah was welcomed into our world by sleepy animals and a group of shepherds who heard about his birth from God's angels. Jesus didn't come as a mighty warrior. He came as a baby. He was not what the world expected, but he was exactly what we needed. Jesus didn't stay a baby, of course. He grew up with his brothers and sisters. He learned the trade of his earthly father, a carpenter. He was baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist, and then he began a ministry of teaching and miracles. Jesus shows us that you don't have to be great, powerful, and rich to change the world. If you are obedient to God, even the most humble person can make a difference. That's a great message at your age. Right now you're too young and too small for a lot of things. Working, driving, riding big roller coasters. But you're never too young to serve the Lord. Please pause the video now to read 1 Timothy 4.12. You can smile at an elderly person having a bad day. You can make friends with a new kid in school or someone who is a little different. You can be kind to the teacher that everyone in school dislikes. You can drop pennies in the donation boxes at restaurants and stores to help kids in need. You can tell a friend, a neighbor, or even a stranger that Jesus loves them. The baby born on the first Christmas changed our world when he died for our sins. There's nothing you or I ever do that comes close to what Jesus did. But we can make an impact on the people around us if we let the love of Jesus shine through us. Let's close now with a simple prayer. Please close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to die for our sins. Whether we are adults or kids, please use us to change the world and point other people to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.